Hi everyone, it's Darcy from My Three Boybarians. I'm here with a super quick tip today. Um, as you can see, I have a gorgeous model here, and here in the background, you can see that the the edges aren't pure white here and here. And I and I just wanted to show you a really quick way to to make sure that you guys um, can cover this up. Now, a lot of people say, well, why not just grab the color close to it um, if it's a pure white and color right over it. Well, sure, that would work with a brush, especially if it's a pure white. But a lot of times you have a solid background um, and it's not pure white and you want to continue the color all the way over um, or it's a little bit of a gradient. Down here, this isn't a pure white. This is um, a little bit grayer. And so to, to make it look natural, I have a really quick tip um, to bring it from, from that to that really easily. So... Um, this is a straight out of camera shot. We haven't done, I haven't done any cosmetic editing. I know she just really is that gorgeous. Um, but the first thing I want to do is clean up that background. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to grab the re the rectangular marquee tool, which is the M. Um, and I'm just going to grab just real quick a section of, um, of the background that has the gradient that I want. While this is selected, and the background, I can hit Control or Command J, which is going to make a duplicate layer um, with that content. So if I turn off the background, you can see that this layer has just the, the background. It's pure white up here, and it's got the darker, um, very pale gray down there. So um, now highlight the layer that has the new one, um, and then we're going to transform it. That's Control or Command T. And all we're going to do is we're going to drag that all the way up, drag it all the way down, and slide it over. Once you hit return, um, it will cover that up and the, the natural gradient that's already in the picture is maintained. It's very natural looking uh, and you can't tell that it's there. Uh, when you're ready to, to move on and start editing your image, you can go ahead and flatten this uh, and move on with your image. So there you go. That's it. Super quick tip. Thanks for stopping by.